Hello everyone, welcome back to Spectrum Classes. In this video, I am going to prepare hydrophilic as well as hydrophobic sole. In this, we are going to prepare starch sole as hydrophilic sole and FeCl3 sole as hydrophobic sole. So, hydrophobic soles are those soles which are water repellent and hydrophilic soles are those which are water loving soles and I will discuss the properties of this hydrophobic and hydrophilic soles in detail in my next video. Here in this video, I am just going to prepare these two different soles and I will show you the lab activity. So, let's prepare first the starch sole which is a hydrophilic sole so here i am going to show you the lab activity so first of all i am going to weigh the starch here you can see on the container for details so i am going to weigh one gram of starch so here you can see the weight and it is about one grams and the final weight is 1.016 grams now i am going to take 100 ml of distilled water and i will transfer this distilled water in a beaker and i will keep this distilled water in the heating mantle for heating right so you can see the temperature it is set on 90 degrees and here this is the water which is kept inside the heating mantle meanwhile it is heating I am just going to make slurry of this starch which I have weighed 1 gram. So here you can see I am just making this slurry so that no powdery form is re remains there and now I am going to add this slurry to the warm water. You can see the vapors. So I am going to add it and it's while stirring. So I am just going to wash that beaker also in which I have made the slurry and now I am going to stir it once it is dissolved thoroughly I will take it out and I keep it at room temperature and after cooling I am just going to filter it out so this is how we are preparing our lyophilic sole of starch and this starch sole is very important while we are doing the iodometric titrations right so this is our colloidal solution and lyophilic sole of starch so i am going to prepare hydrophobic fecl3 sole now I am going to prepare this FeCl3 sole which is a lyophobic sole and I have weighed 2 grams of FeCl3 and I have added this 2 grams in 10 ml so just to make it 20% solution of FeCl3 and now I am going to add this FeCl3 drop wise in the warm water and I am going to stir it and you can see the change in color right after the sole is formed it turns out to be reddish color right so here I am just going to stir it and You can see the color brown to red it changes and this is our lyophobic sole of FeCl3 right so here you can see FeCl3 sole and here is lyophilic colloidal solution of starch and here it is lyophobic colloidal solution of FuH3 so this FeCl3 is a positive sole. Why it is so? I will give you answer of this question in the next video. Thank you all. Thanks for watching.